Rob was mowing and uh, yeah, that don't look right. Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, it feels good to finally be picking up the camera again and shooting some more vlogs here. I actually took about a week or two off from YouTube. Just had a lot of life going on. It's just getting busy out here and uh, we actually are down a guy. Dominic got a new job, so I've been back in the field for about a week or two and uh, had to jump back on the crew. And when you do that, as you guys know, it gets pretty busy. Uh, out here every single day mowing lawns, taking care of the route, and frankly, uh, the grass has been growing pretty good again, which is always a good thing because you know what? We got about two more months left and then we got to wrap up the season here with mowing. So every little dollar in revenue that comes in is super important. I um, want to talk to you guys for a quick minute today about uh, the ERC uh, tax credit, the employee retention tax credit. We'll get to that in a minute, but good money that could be left on the table if you guys have anywhere from a small to medium sized business. Shout out to my boy Logan Manning of Earth Advocates down in uh, Ohio taught me how to get that credit. And we actually did qualify and we got a chunk that should be hopefully coming back to us. So uh, any which way, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, quick little house update. So many of you guys have been asking, uh, we should be breaking ground on that in November. So there's so much good stuff going on behind the scenes. Uh, so every day when I'm not trying to make a vlog, I'm busy on the computer, wheeling and kneeling, calling up all the different stuff that we got going on and trying to lock stuff down. All right, really quick, let's see what Rob's up to. I know he's getting the vertex ready. We are tackling our Tuesday route today, and uh, let's see what we can get to. Foreman Rob, how we doing, bud? Good. We got the uh, the camera. So we're trying to get this mounted to get you guys some more footage in a couple different places. What do we got going on here? Oh, I have it right there. We had it up here just a second ago. But okay. I didn't think about being able to move. Oh yeah, duh. So moved it down, and so it should hopefully. It's like some camera receptions here, you know what I mean? So if you hit start. You might be able to see the vantage point. Hopefully it's pretty decent. So many people want some more mowing footage, so I'm doing my best to get some different mounts here with the DG, uh, what is it called, the DJI Action Cam. So we're trying to figure out where to mount this stuff. It's kind of hard on the vertex. By the way, uh, quick little hour update. How many hours we got on this thing, bro? Uh, 373. 373, not too shabby. Almost 400 hours on this thing, and we probably put at least 100, 150 on the, uh, the Laser Z, so that would put us almost to five or 600 hours on units. And we still got another month or two to go, man, which is wild. Rob, how do you like the cut with the Vertex? I've been loving it so far. Yeah? For uh, for me being a sit-down guy, I love this mower. Uh, by the way, you guys might see a video here in the next couple days. I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about this yet, but it's already here. Check this out. Hey, yes, sir. Uh, when this video comes out, would you guys do me a solid? Uh, one second, we'll let this guy go through. He's got a nice utility trailer set up. Uh, when this video comes out, would you guys uh, mind doing a big thumbs up on it, this video and, and the next video? Uh, because this video is going to be really cool because it's going to give me the opportunity to shoot the next video after that, which is going to be even better. So uh, you guys can see Husqvarna and then I can't say the name of the brand that we're working with just yet because they're still approving that video because it's sponsored content. But nonetheless, uh, we're going to give back after that video. And I think you guys will be in for a treat, i.e. think leaf cleanups, think backpack blowers, think giveaways any which way well more on that later rob how are we doing with the camera bud Wait. Uh, it was a little crooked so i'm trying to a little crooked yeah all right well i'm gonna grab the trimmer i'm good now let's get mowing All right, folks, on our endless quest to get you content, this is what happens. This is the handle for the advanced shoots. <laughs> it's fine when it's up. What the is happening? When I put it down, it's just cutting the camera in half. And people are like, you know, you're making all these YouTube videos. I do it for you guys. Yeah, here we are over here, nonetheless, uh, trying to get some fresh content with a stander. Uh, might you have to might have to put it like right here. Over on, to the side more. Yeah, to the side. All right, hang tight.
so really quick, I was just telling Rob, uh, when he makes his return pass, he's got about three or so inches, maybe four inches of overlap. And you guys might have saw that video we did last year calling it tip to tip. Maybe that was two years ago, three years ago. Actually, a lot of people watched that video and said it was really helpful. But it's to get the stripes as, as wide as possible on each pass. And so I just gave Rob just a quick little tip there. Uh, he was overlapping about three inches with the stander. Uh, still does an amazing job. I mean, my gosh, I'm not here to nitpick. I'm, I'm really grateful for the work that he does. Uh, but I said, hey, you're like a solid A minus right now. If you want to get to an A, just a quick little coaching tip. And Rob's one to take criticism, which is good. So look at that. That looks really good. So we're actually out and about, and uh, this is the kind of stuff that happens sometimes. Uh, actually, this is the first time this has ever really happened to me. Uh, Rob was mowing and uh, just got a little too close to the well. And uh, we both heard like a rock, like if we hit a rock. And uh, yeah, that don't look right. That don't look good. That's coming out of your paycheck. I was about to say, eight bucks the <laughs> Dude, eight bucks, yeah, right, more like 28 bucks. Blazer are so insanely expensive right now. Uh, it is what it is, so he's gonna go grab the Z and uh, zip off a blade and grab that, or you can grab the Z, I don't care, but all good, things happen. But uh, of course, we only have like two spots left here and we would be done, so. At least you, at least you hit it when you're kind of done with the whole front. <laughs> so, all right, no big deal. You know, it is nice sometimes having a second mower with you. <laughs> that was a luxury the first decade of my business. I couldn't afford that. But having two mowers with us for our bigger sites or even just a backup. You Safety first, bro, safety first. Hey, what's up guys? All right, well, we are back to the vlog. Uh, we are all done for the day. I am stinky, sweaty, nasty, gross. I have been sweating my butt off. It's only 78 degrees, 76 degrees on the dash. It's still warm though. It's still warm. Um, were you able to get the camera mounted on the GoPro footage? Or the uh, the Osmo, whatever thing is? We were able to get it mounted. It was kind of <laughs> janky. We'll see how, A, if the footage even comes out usable. Right. But uh, I gotta order, it wasn't order. much. I know it died on me like halfway throughout that property. I gotta order some new uh, some new mounts because the, the sticky pads aren't really cutting it. Um, hey, really quick, while I got you this far into the vlog, um, if you guys haven't registered for Equip Expo, the early bird registration ends Friday, Friday. So right now it's $20. If you use promo code Brian, it's $10. Uh, but don't be the person that makes the mistake of registering after the fact, because then it's 40. And if you register at the door, it's 80 bucks. Uh, so any which way, I'll leave a link in the description. But quick news flash, quick last minute call. Uh, you got three or so days left to register. Are you coming down to Louisville or are you taking the, the week off or are you staying back mowing? I think I'm probably going to be staying back holding down the fort for us while uh, you're out there. Are you, uh, you're taking, on. you're taking a week in November off though. Uh, yeah, no, I get, I get my vacation a couple weeks after that so I'm alright with it. So. Rob, Rob's going to Vegas and uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Maybe, maybe Rob comes back with a girl, who knows. Sorry. Hey, my fall aeration signs. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I, actually, next week I gotta teach how to do the aerations. Yes. Maybe we'll even do that some, uh, some on Friday, do a little aeration how-to. Would you guys like to see an aeration how-to training video? I know we got the training course on Entrepreneur Academy, and we've done a bunch of great videos in the past, uh, over the years, but maybe we'll show uh, Foreman Rob how to do uh, aerations because we've got, I've got a good eight, eight or 10. Mm -hmm. And at 125 bucks a pop minimum for us, no, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good money. Yeah, I need, we need to make that before fall uh, as we start uh, saving our nuts. Also, next week, a lot of you guys uh, have been asking, we are picking up the new plow. Uh, Rob's holding the fort Monday. I'm going to Route 1 Industries in Chicago, Illinois to go pick up, uh, or to get uh, my new truck, <clears throat> which we still don't have a name for. Yeah, we I need to figure know. out a name for the new truck. Because we have Thunder, <laughs> which is this truck, and then Lightning's your Tesla. Tesla. We've gotten Zeus and I've got like Dark Zeus and Dark Thunder or something like that. Like can do like Hades. Hades, it's, yeah. I mean, it's the red. I mean, if we're gonna go along that edge. That's but. true. All right, well, we're gonna go jump off the trailer and uh, I wanna catch up with you guys in a minute. I wanna talk to you about the uh, ERTC, the Employee Tax Retention Credit, uh, or 
whatever the variable uh, or the acronym for that is. But it is a really good way to maybe put some money in your guys' pocket if you guys have a small business. All right, well guys, let's talk about it for just a couple quick seconds here. The ERTC or the ERC, the Employee Retention Tax Credit. Now, really quick, I've got my phone here, my little cheat sheet. And number two, really quick, I am not your CPA, your tax attorney, your tax advisor. I just wanna talk about it for a couple quick seconds because it's working for us and I thought it might be able to save you guys some money uh, with the ERC and Employee Retention Tax Credit. So long story short, there's two things here that can help qualify for this. Uh, uh, employee retention credit and it's up to twenty six thousand dollars per employee haven't really seen anybody talking about it in the lawn care community uh, we like to give business advice uh, financial advice lawn care landscaping business ownership uh, advice uh, just based on our own business of course Take it with a grain of salt, you gotta make it work for you. Uh, so if you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing. We try to add these little tips in here to all the different vlogs that we do. But it said uh, the ERC tax credit, so if you had a quarter or two over the last two years that were down, or you were for shut down and suffered some type of loss due to like a government mandate or whatnot, you have the opportunity based on however many employees you had that you were able to keep on get a tax credit up to like $26,000 per employee. Now again, it's something about that nature, okay? So here's what I would say, talk to your payroll folks, talk to your tax professional, and they can help you understand a little bit more about this program and see if you qualify. In fact, quick shout out to my friend Logan Manning of Earth Advocate down in uh, Columbus, Ohio, right next to the Almonds. You guys saw him on the Shop Tour series. Logan qualified for a chunk, and after hearing it, I was like, hey, I think I've heard about that before, but I didn't think I qualified. He said they changed the rules, they changed the qualifications, it's uh, kind of widening open and broadening out a little bit so a little bit more people qualify. I said, that's really interesting. So I talked to my payroll people, I talked to my attorney, or my CPA, I should say, and we were able to actually qualify over the last couple weeks. I was gonna make an update video here just this last Friday, but it was Labor Day weekend, I was trying to take some time off, so I wanted to talk about it in the first vlog that we did. So naturally, this isn't something you should probably fill out on your own, but what I'm gonna do is, uh, Logan actually had a really reputable firm. There's a lot of these people that have popped up, so, uh, you know, buyer beware, you know, file at your own uh, cost and, you know, check it all out on your own. But we went through these exact people I'm gonna recommend. I have no skin in the game, no affiliate uh, code or anything like that for me. I I actually use Logan's uh, sign up referral and he, he might get a little bit of a kickback. But anyway, which way, I'll leave a link in the description and you can check it out. But we went with the ERC specialist and it took about two to three weeks with all the back and forth to get all of our proper documentation. But we were able to get a pretty sizable chunk back. Now, we have a small business, only a couple full-time employees, as you guys know, so it wasn't like we got 50,000 or 75,000 or $100,000, nothing like that. Uh, although you potentially could, depending on the size of your business, which is why I wanted to talk about this because it could be a great way to get some extra funds for your guys' company as you guys look to buy new equipment for fall, snow, even next spring, depending on how quick the money is gonna come back. Uh, so long story short, took us about two to three weeks back and forth with these guys to uh, submit all of our info. We did get uh, qualified for a chunk, and then we actually paid a 10% fee to make sure that uh, they get their cut, of course, and then we're gonna get the, the whole lion's share uh, over the next two, four, six weeks. I was talking to my friend Logan, like I said, of Earth Advocate. It took him a couple months to get this uh, check and the funds into his account from the federal government or whatever it is, uh, but nonetheless, it's, I don't wanna say free money, but it's money that's already been established, part of like the PPP type stuff, the SBA loans, the uh, EIDL loans, it's all grouped into all this, stimulus and you know different relief money that's been established over the last two years hate it or like it i totally agree i, I i'm not going to get into that whole uh, topic right now politically speaking but nonetheless the money is on the table so it might be worth you guys checking out to see if you qualify all right well that's what i got here on today's vlog i hope you guys are doing well uh sorry for the lack of vlogs the last couple of weeks just taking a little vacay a little break from youtube but plenty more to come so if you guys aren't uh, subscribed yet to the channel please consider doing that and uh, don't forget the thumbs up it's all about lawn care landscaping on this youtube channel Look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next one, all right?